Would you like to get deployment models done in seconds? We have a great feature for that. Stay tuned. Hello everybody. My name is Harald Brunner and today I want to show you some new cool features in version 2.7 of the DaVinci Developer Adaptive. Let's start with a few things you'll notice very early. The new DaVinci Project Explorer shows DaVinci projects exclusively and has all the features you need to work with them. The project dashboard was reworked. You can change the focus of the dashboard by setting your current focus to either application or machine integration. If this the project type setting, like application project or machine integration project, is not needed anymore and has been removed. The Application Design Center is a new editor that guides you through the basic steps of application modeling. And it also can generate a deployment model for you, in order to give you a quick start. In my example, I already have four executable projects, which I reference from an empty deployment project. Looking at executables, these models are there. But from the deployment aspect, nothing exists yet. In the first three tabs, you can define data types, service interfaces and executables via software components and their ports. In the Application Configuration tab, you can configure which executables should be considered as part of the application. In the Port Connections tab, you can configure which ports should be connected internally. In the Model Builder tab, you can each select the communication technology and whether you want a stub component generated for testing the application ports. Finally, a click on Build Model creates a deployment model for you. You can see this in the Explorer tree and in the dashboard. Beside the read-only property of files, you can now lock a whole project from being changed accidentally. A lock icon is shown for each object and parameter that cannot be changed. The properties view will give you detailed information about the lock status. We have continued the model scope concept in the area of validation and generation. Live validation startup will be faster because it now only validates the selected scope. But you have the possibility to trigger a full validation with this button in the validation view. In the Generation Results view, results are now grouped by scope. The validation view is now located outside of the project frame. This makes it easier to see validation results and your model at the same time. And you can even drag it to another screen. For warnings and infos, it's now possible to acknowledge them with a justification message. And hide them. This helps you to focus on the relevant validation results. An instance reference consists of multiple references one for the target and one or more for the context. In the DML, this can now be visualized with a compact syntax and Content Assist can help you to edit an instance reference. Microsoft Adaptive Parameters now have the full support in form views, similar as they already have it in the DML. Additionally, an automation API was created to access and modify these comfortably with DaVinci scripts. We improved script project creation a lot. A few clicks and a script project is created, opened in IntelliJ for editing and a script is immediately available due to an edit script location. So these are the highlights of the version 2.7 and I hope you like the new features. Please also visit us on vector.com slash davinci-adaptive and see our other videos. Thanks for watching.